Now the best part, it's time to do the ribs. You know, I like it. It's a level two romantic dinner, but still easy stuff. Okay, I got eight ribs here. I'm only gonna use about six of them. This recipe came from Katie. My friend Katie sent me the braised short rib recipe. I wanna thank her very much. It asks for some Coca-Cola, some uh, any kind of soy sauce, but I'm using Kinko Mints, little tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, and I don't care if I mispronounce that, that's what I call it, and cornstarch. So let's get this thing started. We're gonna season the meat first. First thing I'm gonna do, black pepper. And they recommend, or she recommends, salt and pepper and garlic and onion powder. I just, uh, I got the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste, so I'm using my own seasoning, which has all that and so much more in it. Uh, it's absolutely amazing, so I'm gonna dust it. I know it looks like it's heavy. It is, but most of it's gonna fall off anyway. There we go. Then you're gonna flip them on their sides and do the whole thing all over again. You don't wanna miss any of the spots because we're gonna sear these in a minute. There you go. All right, before I start searing the meat, I'm gonna mix up my Coke and all my, all my juicy stuff. It asks for two cans of Coke or Pepsi. I'm using Coke. Okay, then we're gonna do two thirds cup of soy sauce. Quarter cup of Worcestershire, 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 however you wanna pronounce it. It's a very strong flavor, so that's why you're not using as much. Then lastly, we're going to uh, put in a tablespoon. That's a heaping. We're putting it in anyway. There you go. Go ahead and grab your whisk. Get that all worked in. Now set this off to the side. I'm going to pour this in a little bit as soon as we're done searing the meat. Okay, so let's start searing these right now. Okay, they're all done. Now we're gonna put them all back in the pot. Okay, it's time to add the goodness in, you ready? Got everything mixed up, we're gonna pour it right in there. Okay, so let's take this to a boil first. Okay, well there it is. Looks amazing, it's, it's at a boil right now. I'm gonna drop it down a little bit. I'm gonna bring it down to a simmer. We're gonna cover it. And I will see you back here in three hours. All right, here we go. Look how amazing that looks. We're gonna gently take these out without trying to try and keep the bone intact. Whoop. Place them on a plate here. So leave those there for right now. By the way, I love this spoon. I use this spoon all the time. I just haven't found one like it. It just works on everything. It's perfect. Okay, we're gonna bring our flame up a little bit here and we're gonna reduce this in half. So we're gonna cook it down a little bit. We've reduced that about halfway down. I got a little cornstarch and water here. I'm gonna scrape that in there, get that going. Just gonna get my whisk in there, make sure it's all incorporated. Now we're going to carefully put the meat back in. Place it back in there. And while we're doing that, you're also going to want to coat it. Okay. You want to take some of the, the juice and coat it because it's going to caramelize. Or you can put it in upside down first and then flip it. It's another great way to do it. Okay, last step, in the oven, uncovered, 400 degrees for 10 minutes, and then we'll bring it out and we'll plate it. Okay, let's get ready. Get some mashed potatoes on the plate. 
let's put it right on top there. Oh, it's beautiful. Just gonna drizzle a little bit of juice on top. There we go. Perfect. Let's cut into it and see. I'm gonna mess it up, okay? So get ready. Oh, wow. It just comes right off. Look at that, it comes right off the bone. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. My first attempt ever at braised short ribs and they look amazing. So I'm gonna try a piece right now. Mmm. Wow. That sweetness of the Coke and the soy sauce and the Worcestershire sauce, or however you pronounce it, is all in the potatoes. We gotta do more romantic dinners. This is worth the effort. She's gonna love you for it. It's easy to eat. Some women don't like uh, eating ribs. This falls off the bone, so you only have to work at it. And do me a favor. If you've been married 40, 50, 60, 4,000 years, it doesn't matter. Make a romantic dinner for your wife. Just because you're married doesn't mean the romance is over. This is going to do it for you. All right, guys. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.